everybody this is ananya and today we will be learning two topics in numpy that is transpose and swap axis well if you are familiar with matrices in mathematics transpose is a relatively very very simple topic to understand whereas swap axis in the case of 3d arrays can be a little confusing but i'm going to try my best to explain it to you all well firstly let's start off with transpose now, I'm just going to give you all the basic idea of what a transpose of a matrix actually means. So this is basically a 3 into 3 matrix or let's, for simplicity's sake, let's take 3 into 3 array. So what happens here is transpose of a matrix basically swaps the elements whose positions are basically I, where ij is equal to ji. Now, let's start off with the number 10. How would you denote the position of the number 10? You would say row 1 and column 0, right? So row 1, column 0. i is equal to 1, j is equal to 0. Now, if you go about and search a little bit and you see number 3, how would you denote the position of number 3? You would say 0 at row and uh, first column, right? So you see the value of i here is 0. And the value of i here is 1. And so basically, you have i is equal to j, right? And here i is 0 and j is 0. Hence, ij is equal to ji. And that is basically the concept of a transpose. Now, let's take the number, let's say, 6. How would you denote the position of 6? You would say um, second row, 0 at column. So 2, 0. How would you denote 12? 0, 2. And hence, you swap them. And finally, this is what you get. Swap 10 and 3, 6 and 12, and 25 and 37. This is what the idea of matrix transpose is. How do you implement it in NumPy? Very, very simple. Here's the array that we just took as an example. And you call a dot transpose on the matrix or the array. Let's go ahead and run that. You have your original array here and this is your transpose. This, this one basically. Now let's come to the important swap axis topic. Firstly, what does swap axis actually mean? It means you are interchanging two axes or maybe more than that of an array. Uh, now what is an axis in the case of an array in NumPy? What it basically is, is you have the number zero denoting the row axis, that is rows denoted by zero and columns are denoted by one. So one axis is row, that is zero. Another axis is column, that is one. Let's take a very simple 2D air array, that is one, two, three, having three columns and one row. So how would you initially denote it if your parameters inside swap axis was given as the array? Next, you are supposed to mention a row, that is axis row, and next you're supposed to mention axis column. So how would you denote that for the original array one, two, three? You would say A. Next, row is remember, what was it? One, right? Row is one. Okay, sorry, row is zero, sorry. Row zero, column one. So zero and one. Now, we need to swap some axis of it, right? So let's say we want to interchange rows and columns. So what you would make it A comma one comma zero. That's basically what swap axis does. So in a new array, you say NP dot swap axis one comma zero, okay? This is the original one basically. Let's make it 1, 0 and I'll go ahead and print this now. I hope you all got it. I'll just comment it in case you need it. All right. And there you go. You had three columns, one row. Now you have three rows and one column. Simple, right? Now let's go ahead with a bigger 2D array. In this case, you have three rows, three columns. It's again the same concept. What we want to do is int make it interchange it right swap axis i want one that is rows first and sorry i want columns first and then rows i'm so confused with one and zero right now i'm so sorry but never mind 
I'm going to go ahead and comment this. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. And now what you get is, do you see any difference? Well, it's basically giving you a transpose. So whenever the number of rows and columns is the same in an array and you perform swap axis on it, basically interchanging the rows and columns in that 2D matrix or array, you get the transpose of it. So you see how you can kind of correlate swap axis and transpose. Well, let's move ahead to the difficult part. Now I have a 3D array. Okay, so this is basically my array and what I'm going to go ahead and do is print out the shape for you. What is the shape of the array? So it's 2 comma 2 comma 2. So what are the parameters here? Just note what I'm typing. First you have array. So in the case of a 3D array, you have three axes. That is first one being array, which is indicated by zero this time. Next you have row which is indicated by one. And next you have columns indicated by two. Okay, so you have in this case, in this array, you have two arrays, two rows and two columns. Now let's go ahead and print out C, array C for you. So let's say print C and, okay, I oh yes, I've got to comment this. Okay, there you go. See, you have two arrays. First array consisting of 0, 1, 2, 3 and second one is 4, 5, 6, 7. Each of them having two rows and two columns. Now what we want to do is, let me take you here. I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 0, 1, 2 is our basic array, comma, rows, comma, columns. I want to interchange the array and the row. So I want to make it one, that is first rows, then call, then array, and then columns. So what do you think we should get? I really would like you all to just pause the video right now and take some pen and paper next to you and try and uh, work it out on the paper and see what result you get after you swap the array and the row, okay? I'm hoping you all just did that or else if you've not, never mind. It's all right. We can understand while we're working. So I'm going to go ahead and print my new array. And this is what you get. I'm going to go ahead and keep my previous original array so that you all can understand the difference. Let's give in a space. Okay. So let's concentrate here. 0, 1, 2, 3 becomes 0, 1, 4, 5. So let's imagine you basically took your array, okay, the array here, that is first it was four and five. Now you have it up here, that is you exchanged it with the row. And next, what do you have here? Six, seven and zero, one remains, remains exactly in their position, whereas four, five and two, three basically gets swapped. And that's how you interchanged your array and your row. So in case you didn't get it, just go ahead and try it out by yourself or just watch this again. And maybe some of these diagrams might help you out. All right. So this is all for today. I'll see you all next time with some another NumPy concept. Bye-bye for now. Take care.